Hey guys, I hope you are well. So we're gonna carry on with doing our area like we did yesterday. So you can see with this one over here, if I've got this rectangle and it's two meters by three meters, we said that the formula would be length times breadth or length times width, as long as it's one dimension times another one. So over here it would be two times three. And of course, two times three is six meters squared. Nice and straightforward. Now I'm gonna bring you across to this side over here. Let's say I've got a triangle that is two times three. Now, it's not quite the same because if I had to follow these same dimensions, two times three, we can see the rectangle is definitely not the same as the triangle. But we can also see that the triangle is half of the rectangle. It's half a piece. If I had to take that same rectangle over there and I cut them in half, I would end up with that same triangle over there. So with this logic, if I've got a nice right angle triangle like this, it's quite easy to work it out. This whole rectangle as we worked out over there was just two times three, and we know that was six meters squared. But remember, if I want to work out what that triangle is, the triangle is only half the size of that full rectangle. So the actual equation you should be doing is not length times breadth. We need to halve it. So we say it's half Oh, my pen's dying. Half length times breadth. Okay, so in this one over here, because it's two times three, it's actually half of two times three. So what's half of two? One. So you're just left with one times three. So the answer is three meters squared. Nice and simple. Let's do another one. Let's say we've got this one, and it's four times five. So again, remember the formula is half length times breadth. So it's half of four times by five. We know half of four is two, and two times five is 10. So it's 10 meters squared. Let's do one more before I switch off here. Let's say this one, whoopsie, is let's make a 10, 10 by five. So remember half, length times breadth so that means you've got half of 10 times by five half of 10 is five and five times five is 25 so it's 25 meters squared right try and tackle these ones below